Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. You are fabulous. All right, so today's video, this is episode 82 of our 365 day daily devotionals. This daily devotional is called Jesus Calling. It is by Sarah Young and guys, it is it's such a blessing. It is just such a blessing. Being able to do this with you is such a blessing. So if you have missed any of the previous episodes and would like to check those out, there is a playlist in the description box. And I guess that's it. So let's jump in. Okay, number 82. So before we get started, I just wanted to mention, if you're wondering where all of my hair is, no, I've not cut my hair, I promise. It's just in a little thing, like I've got it twisted around my head. I hope that y'all can see that. I don't know if I'm showing you, but I hope hope you can see it. Anyways, I did not cut my hair. It's all still there. It's just wound up in a thing. Anyways, number 82. I want to give you all the verses, and I do apologize because there's a little bit of lipstick on the page. It's part of it, you guys. All right. I like to give you all these verses. That way you can go back, maybe if you would like, and read the entire section in your Bible. Or maybe just have these verses to kind of stand on throughout your day. Okay. <clears throat> Rejoice and be thankful. As you walk with me through this day, practice trusting and thanking me along the way. Trust is the channel through which my peace flows into you. Thankfulness lifts you up above your circumstances. I do my greatest works through people with grateful, trusting hearts. Rather than planning and evaluating, practice trusting and thanking me continually. This is a paradigm shift that will revolutionize your life. Short and sweet today. That's so good. Rejoice and be thankful. Thankfulness lifts you up above your circumstances. Rather than planning and evaluating, practice trusting and thanking me continually. This shift will revolutionize your life. It will absolutely change your life. It will change the way that you think about things. It will change the way that you handle things. It will change the way that you, it'll just change the way that you perceive things. Worry, anxiety, you know, the evaluating and the planning and the, all that, that is your flesh. If we can just set that aside and just trust God and be thankful no matter what, it will absolutely change your life. And I don't say that to sound as though, well, she makes it sound so simple because it's not. It's not that easy to trust God. It's not that easy to be thankful all the time. Trust me on that one. I know this for sure. It is not always a, it is not always easy to be thankful. But if we can just put our flesh aside once again and tap into the Holy Spirit that is already within us. Man. Man, 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 how it will absolutely change your life. I promise you it will change the way that you see things. It'll change the way that you handle things. And the more you trust God, the more it just builds up and builds up until it becomes second nature. If you can trust God in the hardest times of your life, I promise you it will just become second you know 
I've had a lot of things happen in the last couple of months that I could have just thrown into the towel and said, you know what, forget it, I'm done. I've been trusting you, God, and this is what you, this is what happens, forget it, I'm done. But I had to really sit back and catch myself and say, Jackie, God didn't do this to you. God did not do this to you. The world, the fallen world that we live in is how these things have happened to me. But it's up to me how I, I react to those things. And trusting God just seemed to be the best option. It's not always easy, not at all. But man, if you can just do it, I promise you, you will see the blessings of God. You will feel the presence of God in your life. I promise you that. No matter what I've been through, I've never not felt God right there with me. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, I've just never not felt him there and knew that God's plan was the best thing for me. You know, maybe that has a lot to do with the way that I was raised. And I'm so grateful for that. But God can come to you and be a part of your life at any time of your life, in any situation, under any circumstances. It doesn't matter. If you ask God to be there and you truly believe in your heart, that he's going to be there with you and help you, he will. He absolutely will. All right, let's do the verses. Sorry, guys. Preaching today. Okay, let's do the verses. <clears throat> rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Philippians 4, 4. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. Psalms 95, 1 through 2. The wind is getting it, guys. I'm so sorry if the camera's shaking wind is really getting it. It was actually supposed to rain today. Let me tell you a little God wink that I got today. So we've been waiting all this time to get the house going and, um, you know, the building started and the weather just would not let up. And we finally got the, the footer dug and I don't know if I'm saying all this right, but if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, we got it all ready for concrete to be poured and then the walls can start going up well it has called for rain on wednesday today literally since last week it's been calling for rain on wednesday they came at nine o'clock this morning poured our concrete they've now smoothed it out it still ain't rain and there's not a doubt in my mind that god did that he knew that we just needed some positive, you know, some encouragement. And that is encouragement to me. So I 100% give the glory to the Lord. Those who know your name will trust in you. 
For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Psalms 9, 10. Now thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. 2 Corinthians 2, 14. This was really good. Rather than planning and evaluating, practice trusting and thanking me continually. Just try it. What do you got to lose? Just try it. If we can ever just put our sides of self, our, ourselves aside, our feelings, our flesh. If we can ever just put that aside and bring God to the forefront of our thoughts and our mind. You have to be willing to let God work in your life. You have to be open to that. Thank you so, so much for being with me today. I hope that y'all have enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely does help my channel. Don't forget to share this with your friends and family and subscribe. That would be awesome. Plus hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. Thank you so, so much for being with me today. And y'all have a blessed day.